Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am the host Noob himself and I just want to take this time to say thank you for watching my previous videos. This one is going to be a little bit of the usual run. It's going to be a low video but before we start I want to give a few shout outs. I want to shout out the fact that if you're in the South Wales area and are able to make it to the Rhondda Valleys Starting in January, we'll start in a Blood Bowl League. So if you want to be a part of that, email address is below. Get in contact and we can give you loads of information on that. But also the Sunday show is going to double up as a community programme. So not only are we going to be bringing you news, pre-orders, it's going to be showing you what the community has produced this week what they sent them pieces are, what they're working on. Again, if you want to be part of that, send your pictures and your information to the email address below and then I'll be able to broadcast it on the interwebs to everyone else. Thank you and on with the show. Shaish, the realm of the dead, a realm of endings and is one of the eight mortal realms. All gateways to the underworld reside here. And nowhere is more haunted. Its ruler, none other than the undying king, the supreme necromancer himself, Nagash. For many centuries, Nagash ruled with his Mortarks by his side, creating vast cities reminiscent of the old Nagashazar, the seat of his former power. But all was not plain sailing for the Lord of the Dead, for soon the Age of Chaos reigned. Soon the forces of chaos would spread their seeds of mistrust between Sigma, the soul thief, and Nagash, creating a war between the heavens and the underworld. During these centuries of war, Nagash was now weakened and was an easy target for chaos, and soon fell at the hands of Archaon. With the undying king lay glow, the forces shattered, the Mortarks fled. To sticks to rebuild their lord and slowly and quietly regain their power. For Nogash is a patient lord and laid waiting for centuries until the time was right to strike and let his presence be known. The time soon came for Nagash. With the coming of the Realm Gate Wars, Sigma, the soul thief, sent out his Stormcast Eternals to fight the hordes of chaos and reclaim the realms to their former glory. Nagash, seizing his moment, he reforms his fragile alliance with Sigma. For this time, the living and the dead marched across the lands of Shaish, fighting chaos and pushing them to the edges of the realm where the winds of magic were unstable and the forces of chaos soon fell. Now, as I said earlier, Shaish is the realm of death and death magic. The winds of Shaish blow hard in this desolate land. So, out of necessity, at the centre of Shaish, the winds are calmer, so great cities are built. In these cities, it is known that the living and the dead will live side by side. Some in these cities will take vows of eternal protection and patrol the streets and the walls. For their service does not end with death. But it's not just protecting the city through the taking up of arms. Some undead are known to be Consultants to their princes, or lords of land. Forever their knowledge will be divulged. But in other cities, cities like Garhorst, the living were not seen as equals. They were slaves to their masters eternal, forced to build great monuments and thrown mo mausoleums to their undead lords. 
For when the time came that a slave passed on, they shed their shackles of life. Service did not end. The lords would raise up the dead and make them join the skeleton warriors of their armies. The shambling mass would take up arms to protect these cities unwillingly. Now, Shaish isn't only the realm of the dead for the living. For you see, every inhabitant of the eight realms may believe there is an afterlife, whether it is vast drinking halls or the open green fields. Everyone believes in eternal rest. But these are not merely made in a heaven. They all go to the underworld, where they are created within little pocket realms, under the feet of Nagash. And these afterlifes may survive for hundreds, thousands or millennia. But all things end. And when these believers take their last breath, so do does that afterlife. For when the religious end is long and forgotten, their doors are open and are met. By the one who lives eternal, the undying king himself. For you see, in the end, when all is forgotten and the stars burn out, there is only Nagash. Well, I think I got a little bit carried away at the end then. Um, thank you all for listening. Again, I'm going to say it's the first video in a series. Please tell me whether you liked it or disliked it. Tell me in the comments below. Um, if you're a recurring viewer, please like, comment and subscribe. Does the channel a world of good? As I said in the beginning, if you want to be involved in the community photos on a Sunday, the email address is going to be below. And again... Thank you for taking your time out for watching this video. And now all that's left to say is thank you again. I will see you soon. And now I'm going to go and get a brew on. And try and decide what's to come in the next little video. Thank you and good night. Right then lovely people. That's another video over. Just before I go, I want to say a big thank you. And I'm really sorry but I've opened a PayPal account. This is so I can expand the channel, so I can get you more content, perhaps get better equipment, so I can record back reps in the future. Who knows? But it's up to you. Every penny you received is going to go straight back into this channel. So it's more content, better equipment, more interaction. You name it, we'll do it. Thank you. And you will hear from me again. Also above is the email address for the channel. And in the description below is going to be a link to the Instagram account. I thank you all again.